game or you play Total Distortion, you need to school Johnny. Hit us up. I'm going to talk slower at twitch.tv slash thegeekdown. Let us know what's good. Adam Willis. Yep. You, sir, have the lowdown, the inside stuff uh-huh. on Valerian. Valerian. Yeah. The, it's hot in here, man. Right? The only thing that's sweating, though, is my mustache. It's like the it's... weirdest thing. <laughs> But wow. yes, I've been waiting to see this movie for like two years. I think we we talked yeah, about yeah. it a while ago. Like, uh, I'm a big Luke Besson fan. I I yeah, think no, you no are Besson. as well. I yeah. love The Professional, The Fifth Element. Mm-hmm. Those are all mm-hmm. movies I, I I I hold in high regard. So this, when I heard he was making a 200 million dollar epic, yeah, that's I was the thing on that board. kind of threw me. If they if they're just throwing money at this man without any actual like set plans, then it could yeah. be suspect. But I was jazzed for this. And, and this uh, and it actually opens with this great set piece where. It's got David Bowie's uh, Space Oddity playing, and then there's uh, this – we're launched into space, and we keep meeting alien cultures, and then we just show us the, the leaders of, uh, of the free world shaking hands with all these different aliens. And what they're building is this giant epicenter called Alpha that's floating around the universe, and Alpha, Alpha. is – Yes, the home of, of a thousand planets and a thousand different species and all these different worlds basically like that. So it's this – and they're all living in peace and they're all doing different things and they're all teaching each other and at the heart of alpha is this growing issue this darkness this kind of it's kind of take something out of the the fifth element where there's something that's basically going to destroy Okay. The universe, basically. Now, the fifth element wasn't pretty ambiguous. That pissed me off. This yeah, actually well, it has been to be true love, which kind of was corny, you know, uh, in the end. But this is something that is in the heart there. And then we meet uh, Agent Valerian and, and like Agent Loreline. And this is I where the movie it, so. goes downhill. Oh, After really? that great first scene, and you're like, wow, this could be real something. And the visuals look great. And the, I was looking at it in 3D. And I don't go to a lot of 3D movies, and everything was popping out, and, and everything was great. And then you, uh, yeah. And then the the actors in this, uh, starring Dane DeHaan as Valerian, um, Cara Delevingne, who's a super babe as uh, Loreline, and has Ethan Hawke in this sucker, has Clive Owen. And this really needed. A different lead. Really needed Dane some melanin in the cast. Because like. the movie where it, it hangs itself is there is absolutely no chemistry between the two leads. And this, in particular, Dane DeHaan, he just does not have the you know the gravitas. He just needed to be played by a more compelling actor. He just Mister Anti Charisma. Absolutely no really chemistry. Anything and where was, he had friends. Right, he's kind of like the loner weirdo type guy, you know what I mean? And he does that great, and so when he has to be the boisterous, you know, cocky, handsome male lead, it just, you like, you think of movies, you think of like, wow, Bruce Willis killed it, you know what I mean? It's like it just needed a guy to do that well, and that's not what he does well, and he just sunk in this role, and it was so terrible because this movie had a lot of promise, and I think the story was good, I think... Obviously, it's a super far fetched, you know, based on uh, a graphic novel and stuff. But it's, it, it, it everything else would have held up, but it, everything hitched on these two leads having this chemistry, this sexual tension, this kind of this attitude, this back and forth banter, and it was just so difficult to hear him speak oh, and try to do it. Man. And so, and it really at every turn it bogged this down. So every time you're kind of getting excited, and you know, there's a great action set piece. He would like say something stupid, and you're just like, ah. And it's not just the dialogue. It, well, obviously, they didn't give him a lot to do, but like you could, like better actors can sell crappy dialogue. Like you can give Kurt Russell anything, you know what I mean? <laughs> and he can make you a good movie. You know, he made Tango and Cash washable. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So hey, it's hey, like, Tango and Cash had that that fantastic dramatic actor. <laughs> You're right, yeah. carrying that movie. Yeah, yeah a lot of, <laughs> so on just, his broad shoulders. Yeah, no, so, Captain uh, yeah. Captain Ron, maybe. Yeah, so maybe maybe um um being unfair, trying to compare him to like Bruce Willis and these other actors. Yeah, but that's said, what this movie he... needed. This is what that movie needed, and just well, like what him was it by about? What was he trying? What was he supposed to do that? So uh, he, he what the, what the point of Val- Valerian is basically one of the best agents for the Federation in the entire galaxy. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So he is like the super stud of all super studs he's basically exactly like bruce willis was in in uh, the in fifth, fifth element, element. Okay, and so, so he's like active though he's not got retired. his agent uh friend his partner is mm-hmm. this girl and there's like he wants 
to seduce her and she's like kind of like yeah. like no sir I, you've done it a thousand times i'm not gonna fall for that and so it's just okay, like so he's not he's like not he's not a creeper that. he's like the he's like he's the a creeper but like he's he's supposed to be charming you know what i mean at the same time so he's like a charming pig you know what i mean that like made so many like so many okay. 80s movies he's, were built he's, he's up. that he's that dude he's um that that, that pickup artist mystery yeah so he's there you go so he has the um they're basically it's it's their job that hat um, Clive Owen is is the, the one of the leaders of Alpha, and they send these two to go explore and find out what's gone. There's a certain amount of time before everything blows up, basically. Um, and so, yeah, they're 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 that's their their mission, their quest, and at every turn, like I said, it's you meet an actor that's doing somebody else's part that it should be played by. Like Ethan Hawke's played the space pimp and you just, you want it to be Gary Oldman. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just like, and uh, Rihanna's in this and she does this and the best parts how about, she? I, I, well, she's the best really parts about acting. her were obviously the, the CG body parts that obviously weren't hers. Cause her body's not moving like that. It's like, she plays like this alien kind of uh, sexy like a sexy stripper dancer. Is she kind of like, um, uh, Laura Flynn Boyle in men in black too. Like that type of, she looks like, uh, no, she looks like a woman, but she's actually she's like a tentacle as, She's monster. not as badass. You know what I mean? She, okay. She's more of like, uh, I'm the victim here. I'm a slave to the space pimp, and I can help you out. Um, and so he goes to her for help, but like she could tell she was struggling with it as well. Um, so maybe, it's just maybe, like maybe, at every maybe, turn. Such a, not, not such a bad thing, then. The cast was so whitewashed. I'm... Am I am I alone in being, being glad that the yeah, but I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of glad that the uh, the pimp in the movie was not played by a black guy, <laughs> right? It was, seems, yeah, it was played yeah. by Ethan Hawke. Who was uh, it was it's funny like, who's though. Who's the pimp in this? We got Morgan Freeman. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm picturing Morgan Freeman as a pimp in anything. Yeah. Well, he's played a pimp before. We talked about it. He did. The, he he that should that just do with, um, the voice acting for it. He just the voice just, acting. It's like, it's like it. hold or have my money. No, if I you mean, don't, I'm gonna. Like I said, this movie, like, get in line. The the visuals, the visuals, the action scenes, and definitely the story were, were all like solid foundations. But like I said, everything hitched on uh, on the, on the, the chemistry that these two were supposed to have, and she, and I think uh, Cara Delevingne, who played Lorelai, is does really well like exceptionally well for being a model who doesn't have a lot of acting experience like so she's on the brace so it's really just him in my in my opinion and you have to watch it like he this he affects this kind of like macho voice too he's like oh what's going on you know oh, it's just not like, one of those, uh, so it's 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 a difficult to sit there and i just it's kept like, thinking i'm like why does he sound like that does he sound like that real life do i not watch i know of enough of his movies Rihanna, you know? swear to me because i'm thinking of him in uh the, the place beyond the pines and he plays like kind of the solo kid in that, who is the son, grown up son of um, of the the male lead at the beginning. From the and, description you gave, I was imagining him more in um in Chronicle. Yeah, that too, and, and another thing, another like broken loner type of thing. Yeah. So he, the, like the swashbuckling hero is just not him, I think, and I think it definitely was exposed as an actor in this. I and say, not like I'm not trying to say movie, I'm not trying to say he's a bad role. actor. I'm just saying this role is not what he's cut out for. And so yeah, I definitely the movie gets a a, a, a really it's I'm really was really disappointed based on that. And this I thought I had a lot of promise. I think I would have really enjoyed this movie had it been somebody else. What about okay. the? Uh, so that's all I can really say about it. What about the girl? Larry right, thumbs down. I, I like I said she I thought she was great. Yeah, she is yeah. she's a babe yeah. for sure. All right, dang Dane DeHaan killing it. I was looking killing forward it, to this. I was excited, it. man. Yeah, everyone else kind of uh, does their job well, and it's just really. Uh, well, who would really have been? A, who would have been a better uh, a better male lead here? I don't know because I don't, like I don't know if they're going so for somebody a lot younger. I don't know a lot of young actors that I would readily just say uh, that they they could pull it off. It, I man, I man. have a lot of um, maybe uh maybe Chris Pratt. No, maybe The Rock. <laughs> no, no. The, the, oh, okay. no, <laughs> no. I would love to see The Rock in a in a uh, in a Luke Besson movie, though. No, I was thinking like a was it Guy Pierce? Like he did that last Luke Besson movie, the the Lock Space out, Jail like, one, Lockout, Lockout one. Yeah. yeah, like he would have been yeah. great in this. Okay. Like he would have, he would have really would have been great. Guy Pierce in Escape from New York. <laughs> Didn't they? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm sorry, that was a bad yeah. a joke for anyone familiar. With, uh, with with, that, with this show or yeah. with yeah with uh, with Escape from New York and Lockout, but no okay so I I I dig what you're saying. 
I'm a little bummed. Um, I think I still may need to check this out myself. Man, do it. I mean, it's, but like I don't. I said, yeah, you're I right. Didn't, I didn't hate it. I just was like, ah, uh, like really disappointed. I was, which is maybe worse than anger. I was really looking forward to this movie for a long time. Obviously, I've uh, spoken on on this show. Oh, I talked to you about it. You gave and, me like a sitcom parent response. Yeah, I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. Just disappointed. Yeah. Wow. I'm like just I, uh, disappointed like in the is. casting. Yeah. Hitting in the solar plexus. True. All right. Well, I'm gonna break it down real quick on our uh, on our on our last review here.